two packs of tofu that I needed to use. Some leftover seasoning um, from my chicken, my tofu chicken recipe. Okay. And I'm also basically, so it's so much of this and so little of this flour mixture. Um, I'm not soaking this in any water. I'm just going to lightly drain it out. Um, then I'm going to deep fry it. But I have this honey, garlic, salmon, and broccoli flavoring pack. Savory with sweetness. And this is some fish seasoning that I got from a friend. A really good friend. Shout out to you. Boo, boo. Um, it smells amazing. It gives that fishiness to your food. Um, yeah, see my one? I took it off on purpose so I could. Yes, I killed a man with this thumb. <laughs> Who knows that movie reference? Um, yeah, so I'm just basically going to add in these extra seasonings and I'm going to get some almond milk and batter this up, okay? Let's see how this goes. Okay. Whew. It seriously smells like a can of sardines. Maybe a little bit milder, not as strong, but it got the fishness. You can actually use this with chickpeas and make. Um, a couple people have done it. My friend, when she used it, she took out a can of chickpeas, rinsed them out, you know, added this to it with some other seasonings and things, and made basically tuna salad, a vegan vegan tuna salad. Um, so yeah. I added the seasoning, most of it to the flour mixture that I had on top because I want, I really want it in the tofu. I need to be draining my tofu right now while I'm up here recording for y'all. Um, and then I took some of it and put it in the milk mixture. And I'm gonna put some of this in the milk mixture as well and some on top of this. I don't know how much to use, but I really wanted a salmon flavor. I wanted to use sweet potato sauce recipe, but um, I ran out of time for what I needed to do. So I'm just gonna use what I have and do what I'm gonna do, okay? But yeah, how y'all doing? I'm tired, you can tell I'm how tired I am. I still got a lot to do tonight, but that's okay. I got some more coffee pots. It's just, you know, I don't usually be having a coffee, but I need it. Ooh, this is nice. This is, you know what? You can actually take this seasoning. I might take this seasoning and sprinkle it on. Nah, I'm gonna just put it in here. I just don't wanna use it all up. Cause I'm gonna try making that vegan tuna salad as well. Oh, it's fishy. But it's like a not that nasty fishy. It's good, good, good. This is what my milk mix was looking like. I added a little salt. To this as well because I didn't add too much of that seasoning and then I went ahead and blended that in mixed third in because this is going in the trash I've already used it once well yeah I've already used it once and now it's gonna be fishy I don't want everything to be you know fishy so I'm gonna have to throw it out when I'm done plus I really think I'm gonna use these up okay so here are the pieces that I cut up from the two blocks I left them um, a bit thick I would say trying to go for a fish fillet you know thickness um, honestly I think the next time I do this because I use the extra firm tofu and really that milk the wet batter was <laughs> milk and some of the seasoning and then I put the seasoning in the flour I mean that's you really should be flavoring up your food it turned out amazing now it did but I wanted to see how I could um, make this um, faster <laughs> that's all that's really what I'm talking about right now so I think the next time I do this because it was so dang on good I'm gonna do it without the milk batter and I am just going to use the wet tofu itself and just you know dunk it although the double breading like this um, this whole double burning process is where it's set. I mean, it really is. And no worries, I didn't burn my fingers. Um, even if I did touch the oil, I would have been fine because of all the flour that I had on my fingers. I was not using forks because I was recording as I was making this so you guys can see what I came up with. So this is a recipe 
um, from me, from Allie, to you. Usually I find someone else's stuff and revamp it, but not this one. I really am trying to cut back on how much tofu I use in a week's time. But my, 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 y'all. Look at this. Look at the beauty of this. Y'all see this? And I put some extra, you know, I laid it up just like how you would get from McDonald's fish filet. Except I added tomatoes and I added cheese. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. And I made some slaw. But isn't that great? I'm so proud of myself being one of my first fully vegan recipes that hopefully you all love. And we'll share and tell your friends about. So, okay. Take time to pray. And let's get into this deliciousness because it was smelling so good. Whew, look at my fingers and all. I had to do a voiceover on this part because baby girl was at the table talking. Love her, but, you know, I think it was a blessing in disguise because the way I was smacking. <laughs> I eat my sandwich. Y'all see my face? Oh, my gosh. It was so, so good, y'all. Please excuse me. Please make this. Have you ever made anything with this um, seasoning? I feel like I'm, I'm so late in finding it out about this seasoning let me know if you've had it before i really want to know and how you've used it peace and blessings